In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to calculate formula mass. Let's start with question one. They want us to calculate the formula mass of glucose, which has the chemical formula C6H12O6. What we have to do is multiply each of these subscripts by the molar mass of that particular atom. For instance, the molar mass of carbon is 12.1, and that can be found on the periodic table. So you'll take 12.1, and we'll call this AMU for atomic mass unit and multiply that by six. And similarly, I'll take the atomic mass unit of hydrogen, which is 1.008 and multiply that by 12. And finally, I'll take the atomic mass unit of oxygen, which is 16.00 and multiply that by six. Now, using our calculator, I'll multiply 12.01 by 6. I'll pull out my calculator. I have 12.01 times 6. That gives us 72.06. Let's do the next calculation. We have 1.008 times 12. That's 12.096. 12.096. And finally, we have 16 times 6, which is 96. I'll go ahead now and add these up. Using my calculator, I have 72.06 plus 12.096 plus 96. And that gives us 180.156. 180.156. And I'll round this number by increasing the 5 to a 6, where I end up with 180.16. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I didn't write it here, but we have two zeros following the decimal place. And when you add numbers together, you have to take into account the lowest amount of decimal places. And for these three numbers, it happens to be 2. So our final answer should also be rounded to two decimal places. Therefore, the formula mass of one glucose molecule is shown in red. Let's move on to question two. This time they want us to find the formula mass of calcium nitrate. Calcium nitrate is an ionic compound because we have a metal with a nonmetal, and specifically we have nitrate, which is a polyatomic ion. The chemical formula for calcium nitrate is the following. We have Ca for calcium with a charge of two plus, and nitrate has the chemical formula NO3, negative one. Combining these two ions together, we do a crisscross where we get calcium NO3 bracket subscript two. Once again, I'll be doing the exact same thing, but with calcium, nitrogen, and oxygen. Starting with calcium, its molar mass is 40.078, and this can be found on a periodic table. Calcium is 40.078 AMU. And since there's only one calcium, and that's denoted by the subscript of one, we won't multiply this by anything else. Next, we'll move on to nitrogen. Nitrogen appears to have a subscript of one, but we have this two outside of the bracket, so we'll multiply this nitrogen by two. The molar mass of nitrogen is 14.00, approximately that, AMU, times two. And finally, oxygen, we know, is 16 decimal zero zero. And we'll multiply that by six, because three times two is six. Using our calculator again, starting with 40.078, We'll add this number, and I'll try to do this all in one step, by 14.00 times two. Notice that I put brackets around the expression, plus another set of brackets open, 16 times six, and this gives us 164.078, and given that these two numbers both had two numbers after the decimal, 
our number should have the same. So this will go up by 1, and we have 164.08 AMU that represents the formula mass of calcium nitrate. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the formula mass of any compound.